Fusion is the power that drives the sun. Billions of dollars have been invested to bring fusion energy home to planet Earth. The fusion reaction is deceptively simple. Smaller nuclei, such as the hydrogen isotopes of deuterium and tritium, release large amounts of energy when forced to combine in nuclear fusion, along with byproducts such as helium and the neutron. The difficulty is that the atomic nucleus carries a positive charge. Like charges repel and will only combine with the input of sufficient pressure and energy. The magnetic Coulomb barrier demonstrates a key concept in nuclear fusion, overcoming the Coulomb barrier. The apparatus has two magnet arrays comprising alternating and unequal magnets. The top array has an aluminum spacer and the bottom array has a ceramic bearing. If I add a small amount of energy, it's not sufficient to overcome the barrier. But if I add slightly more energy, it is sufficient. If I rotate the top array so that the magnetic poles no longer align, they no longer readily fuse. The pair of arrays may take several bounces to fuse, if they fuse at all, and the number of bounces depends exquisitely on initial conditions, such as height and the degree to which the opposite poles are aligned. An inexpensive version of the magnetic Coulomb barrier can be made with transparent tape wrapped around magnets stuck to a steel washer and filled with clear epoxy centered around a plastic straw. Alternating and unequal magnets create far-range repulsion and close-range attraction, analogous to the Coulomb barrier. The double strength of north-facing magnets extends the predominance of north magnetic flux into the far range shown in green. The single strength of south-facing magnets confines the south magnetic flux to the near range, shown in blue. When a pair of arrays oppose each other at far range, a repulsive barrier forms between them. At close range, however, the proximity of opposite poles results in strong attraction. The result is a visual and tactile classroom demonstration of the forces occurring at the quantum level during nuclear fusion. The ratio of north to south magnets was inspired by opposite and unequal nuclear quark charge. In fact, magnetic and electric fields were the first fundamental fields to be unified by James Clerk Maxwell nearly 150 years ago. With that in mind, it should come as no surprise that the shape of the magnetic force barrier curve is quite similar to an analogous electrostatic force barrier curve in which double north and single south magnets are replaced with double negative and single positive charge and the essential geometry has been preserved. If you have any questions or insights, feel free to contact me at the email address listed here.